This is a vivid portrayal of life, love, friendships, and a time struggle. You will laugh, cry, and even ask the question why. Four extraordinary women will take you on a journey like one you have never experienced before. Viewer discretion is advised. My name is Gina Gianelli Goldenbaum. The three things I love the most in this world are, in this order, Long Island, Diamonds, and my husband. What? Oh, I can't be doing this shit in the interviews? All right, hold up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, you know, I don't know what's going on sometimes. I don't know if you wrote you roll it. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Namaste. Hi, I'm Alexis Goldenbaum. I am from Great Neck, Long Island. Um, my brother is Mikey Goldenbaum, and he is married to Gina, who's not Jewish. Hi, I'm Paulette McGee. My brother's Bruce McGee, married to Ladasha. She's spicy. I really like her. Um, I'm from Ronkonkoma, born and raised on Long Island. Woohoo! <laughs> I really enjoy it out here. I don't ever plan on leaving the island. Oh, hell no. Don't make me get up in this chair. It's Ladasha. What is it? La A. L A dash A. Well, you don't know how to spell? What are you, stupid? Yeah, I called you stupid. You got a problem with that? Oh, um. Oh, God. I still get, uh. I still get confused. I swear to God, old habits die hard. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> can we, uh, can we cut? But you know, I'm working on like accepting all types of people. You know, that's where I am now in my life. And I just have to say, I'm really happy to be here. You know, it's a lot better than where I was. Yes, I mean, I believe in all of that self stuff, self awareness, but I'm a little self conscientious because I mean, my mom says I'm unique, but I have these sideburns that are hereditary. Look, see. Don't zoom. I'm from the Bronx. Proud of it. Boogie down. Boop, boop. That's right. I got the street smarts. Unlike these bitches. I don't know what kind of smarts they got. They don't even got sidewalks over this place sometimes. You walking in the middle of the street, somebody gonna hit your ass. <laughs> and I'm standing on the street one day and this guy walks past me. And I was like, Whoa, who is that? I need to know him. I told a little fib, I said I was Jewish. But after like nine attempts of me trying to contact Mikey, he finally accepts a date with me and we go on a date. And it was love at first sight. He fell in love with me right away, right away. So um, I was addicted to, um, to St. John's Wood. And it sounds like something, you know, everyone takes it. You know, you can go into a store and buy it, which to me is like, it's crack, you know. I am in recovery and I breathe every day and I just accept people for who they are, you know. And yeah, sometimes I'll be in like a Whole Foods and I'll see St. John's Wort or I'll meet someone named John or someone has a wart. And I feel like I need to take it, you know, like I'm so shaking. Zumba's changed my life. I found it on a trip to Nassau. I, I, I mean, Nassau, the Bahamas, not Nassau County. And some girlfriends and I went down there to do some, you know, some relaxing. And I was looking to tone instead of bulk up. It's kind of my specialty. And I discovered Zumba, brought it back to the island. And now I have a, a cold following, basically. Um, I have all these girls come in once a week, and I teach them certain moves. I built my own business. I mean, it's just so easy for me to do that. I mean, I know a lot of people have trouble, but I work so hard at Zumba. You know, I, I mean, I'm hoping you can come to one of my classes and see how hard I work. And everyone really enjoys it. I mean, it's just wonderful. All right, what do you want to talk about now? Oh, how I met Bruce? 
Oh, this is actually a cute story. He said he thought I was J-Lo. Now he didn't say, he didn't just say that he thought I looked like J-Lo. He said he thought I was J-Lo. I was on stage and shit, so I get it. I get the confusion. But um, it was kind of cute, you know? Like, he was with his other cop friends, you know? Like, I was really turned on by that, like a man with power. You know, a man I can like really take over me and shit. I love that shit. So, anyway. So, what sets me apart from the other girls, um, I would say the first and foremost thing um, is the fact that I've got a lot more money than them. I mean, it's just a fact. And, you know, I got a lot of class. You know, I met my husband, bless his soul, and he brought me into this world um, that, you know, the other girls, if they had been brought into that world, they might not fit into it so well, but I fit right in. It was like a glove. I walked in, I knew what I was talking about, I knew what I was doing. Um, I, you know what, I felt like I had arrived. I know every single type and brand of white Zinfandel there is now. I can pair it with like American cheese, um, you know, Alexis likes her soy cheese. I mean, as long as you respect me in my home, that's all I'm asking for. And uh, Gina's really welcomes me with open arms, except for the times where she wears um, animal skin and fur, which means that an animal had died, which means that there's a dead carcass somewhere. <laughs> and we don't know where that spirit is, but we know where the skin is. It's on a human body. So that really, so anytime I'm feeling like this, right? You feel that anxiety filling up. What I do is I shake my magic eight ball. This is my best friend. And I'll say to myself, is that spirit okay? That animal for spirit. And it says, I better not tell you now. I like the finer things in life. And guess what? Fuzz is one of them. And I'm not asking you to wear it. But don't cry when I come out of my room in one of my beautiful mink coats. What do I do? Um, I work in a doctor's office. Mm -hmm. Doing, um, I work in computers. And I do a lot of medical stuff. A lot of things gotta go together. Like, you gotta make sure people don't get the, the wrong medicine. There's a lot of mother patients up in that office. Prescription with the wrong name and shit. Like, come on. Like, they ain't smart either. Like, I told them about my shit, like what I do for work. They ain't got no computer skills. I got computer skills. Actually, Alexis, I don't really know so well, so I offered her a private lesson. We're gonna go to my studio. I'm gonna help her out with some of the moves and stuff. I wanna get to know her better. She seems like a really interesting person. I'm a people person. I can zoom in on people, kinda like the medium. You know, you've seen Long Island medium. I'm kinda like bigger than a medium, but not a large, and then um, I'm starting to show them some Zumba moves because I just can't help it all the time. And Alexis is even going to take a private studio with me. I told her anytime, day or night, late at night if she wants. I don't care. I'll Zumba anytime. They don't even know what I've been through in the Bronx. Like, if these girls went up to the Bronx, <laughs> they wouldn't even laugh a second. Like, I used to carry around box cutters. I still do, actually. I still carry around box cutters. So these bitches better watch out because if I got a problem with them, they're going to get sliced. There's something about her that gets on my damn nerves. Like, I feel like she's reading my mind and shit. Like, she knows what I'm saying. Like, she knows what I'm going to say, like, any second. I hate it. It creeps me out. It creeps me the fuck, bugs me the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Like, nightmare shit. Okay. Do you know someone by the name of P? Or D? Is it an S? A Scott? A Sarah? Oh. Like, she thinks she missed Cleo with shit. Like, call me now. Like, remember that f***ing commercial that I <laughs> no? The girls are just amazing. They're amazeballs. I coined that phrase. And I think they're, they're jealous. I, I don't think it makes them love me less. I mean, we're like family. But I do think that they're jealous. I mean, I'd be jealous of me too. You're probably jealous of me a little bit. Next time on Long Island Divas, a glimpse into Paulette's past. <laughs> Damn.
Damn.